If you want to collapse all the layers in the layers panel, then you can simply press Alt L or Option L, then it will collapse all the layers and it will work only with the left Alt, not the right one. And if you select the parent layer like this one, then press Alt L, then it will collapse only the children elements. As you can see, the parent element is still expanded. If you want to go to the child layer, simply select the layer and then press Enter to go to the child layer. You can see that child layers are selected. You can go to further child layer by simply pressing enter and if you want to go into the parents layer then you can press the backward slash then it will go to the parent layer you can see that thing in layers panel and if you press it once more it will go to the other parent layer then again you can press it as many times you want if you want to type these three dots uh, instead of typing these three times like dot 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 you, what you can do is simply press alt and press semicolon that way it will type three dots and now figma has released the feature to do it without adding the dots you can see that this is actually a long test you can see the blue lines here for that you have to go to this option then choose this truncate option by default it selected none they have to select the truncate option okay next we have is horizontal scroll if you just hold down shift then scroll with your mouse wheel then it will scroll horizontally and it will work only with the mouse not with your laptop trackpad then we have to navigate on canvas without pressing space bar currently you have to press the space bar then you get this hand option to navigate on the canvas but if you're using a mouse then you can press the middle mouse button or the wheel to navigate in the canvas that way you will not be able to require two hands next we have is hide figma ui so you can press control forward slash or command forward slash if you are on mac to hide the whole ui and if you want to hide only the layers panel, then you can press control so shift backward slash or command shift backward slash and if you press that again it will show the ui to switch between design and prototype panel instead of clicking here you can press shift e to switch between these two panels or you can press alt 8 9 to switch between these two panels you can see that uh, the current panel is switching if i press alt 8 9 or option 8 9 if you are on mac if you want to crop an image simply double click it then it will take you to the properties of the image but there is a shorter way to do it simply select the image hold on control or command and then you can crop the image easily if you hold on control alt or command option key then you will be able to crop it proportionally and if you hold down shift also then you will be able to crop it in a uniform way to search any component press shift i then you can search for any component and this will work only if you have inserted any component library or there are local components available in your file then you can simply drag it here and use the component then we have is go to next frame or selection you can press n to go to next frame and shift n to go to the previous frame okay if you want to insert any country currency then by default we have the dollar symbol simply press shift 4 to insert the dollar symbol but if you press alt or option key and press 4 then you will be able to insert the rupees symbol but you can change this to any country just google how to change the secondary layout of the keyboard in your system you might be using a mac or a windows any or any other system just add the secondary keyboard layout you can google it how to do that next we have is run last use plugin to run last use plugin simply press ctrl alt p or command alt p and when i will press these key nothing will happen because i have not run any plugin till yet so first of all i needed to run any plugin then after running this plugin let me close it and if i want to run that plugin again i can press ctrl alt p to run the plugin again you can see the run unsplash is running right now next we have is copy paste effect from one layer to another layer for that you have to select the layer press ctrl alt c or command alt c or you can also right click and go to this copy properties option then select the layers you want to paste the properties and press ctrl v or command v to paste the effects to copy the link of the frame instead of going to share then copying the link you can simply press ctrl l or command l to copy page link you can see that link is copied to the clipboard and if you want to copy the link of a particular frame so that whenever someone opens the file with that link this will be the first frame they will see so you can select the frame and press ctrl l now the frame link is copied next is if you want to move up and down in the pages and you can instead of manually going to that you can use the shortcut of function key and up and down arrow key and this will not work in all systems like it's not working in mine because i have set it custom key i am changing the brightness with that but if you are on windows you can use the page up and down key to change it and if you are on mac this will most probably work on your laptop i'm using an external keyboard that's why it's not working and if it's still not work just google how to move up and down in pages and try out different things it will work out next is if you want to insert this bullet and this is not a period key like this is the period key and this is the bullet we use this bullet in our designs many times so it's for that what you have to do is simply start typing and press alt 8 or the star key we have then it will insert a bullet next is if you are lost in your canvas like you are, don't know where the files are then you can press shift 1 to just zoom out completely it will show all the layers available then if you want to zoom into a particular frame or screen then simply select the screen or frame and then press shift 2 to zoom to selection okay and it can zoom even further if you just select the text layer and then press shift 2 it will zoom to that text layer next is if you want to search any component you can either press shift i or 
alt 2 to go to the assets panel and search any component and if you want to switch between these two layers you can press alt 1 or 2 to switch between these two panels and if you are on mac you obviously need to press option 1 2 to switch between these two panels you can swap the component without selecting the component like currently you must be selecting the component and going here then choosing the component like you can swap the component from here but there is a faster way to do it simply press shift 1 then choose any component search any component you want and then simply drag it here and hold down alt or option key then you will be able to swap it but as you can see it's not working that's because the layer is not selected but we don't want to select the layer so we will again press shift one drag the layer hold on alt and control or option on control then you can see the layer is selected automatically you can identify that by purple line just simply drop it here and this will also copy the properties of previous component that was present there Next is you can change any numerical value by simply dragging although you can change this rotation simply but this thing doesn't work with all text values like you cannot change the opacity or the text layer the arrow is not showing up or this opacity here or any effective value you cannot change that now to do that you can simply hold down alt or option key then you'll be able to change the property easily or you can change the position the text size or the letter width or or the opacity or anything this will work with any numerical thing now we have some bonus shortcuts if you press ctrl 1 then it will take you to the home if you press ctrl 2 then it will take you to the second tab in my case it's community tab if you press ctrl 3 then it will take you to the third tab similarly 4 and 5 and if you want to zoom into a particular section then you can hold down z then draw to that area and it will zoom into that particular section if you want to share a file with a developer friend instead of sharing the normal link simply first go to the developers option then go to the share option then it will copy the link in the developers mode so whenever someone opens the file it will by default open in dev mode you can simply click here to copy the dev link that will be very helpful for developers because sometimes they forgot to turn on the develop mode mode i have seen that thing in real life